My name is Luca and I'm a PhD candidate at uh, Cambridge University and um, uh, I'm working in the water sector since uh, four years and I'm actually now uh, working on uh, business models for sustainable water reuse in agriculture. Well, I don't really represent a young organization but uh, I'm part of, uh, of a group that uh, uh, last year at the Stockholm Mobile Water Week uh, developed the, the vision for a water and food secure world by 2050. Mm. It's a vision that uh, young professionals actually uh, developed uh, all together. So we, we have been involving a different young professional um, in the conference in Stockholm Mobile Water Week but also from different social media, uh, from Twitter, from live blogging. And then we developed this vision and then we presented at the closing ceremony uh, last year. And can you tell us a little bit what the vision is? Well, uh, the vision is very, I think it's, uh, it's a very, very inspiring. Uh, look at um, really, it's not only, um, uh, let's say, looking at what we really dream, but uh, is also look at um, sort of actions and uh, a point that solutions that we can actually take, take over. One of the major uh, point is really that um, the young uh, professionals of today is uh, actually the, the generation that will be called or is actually called to solve uh, the huge challenges of tomorrow and, uh, and we have to start today together with uh, the seniors, with the current generation because uh, together we can, um, we can learn, we can, uh, from, we can learn from the experience of senior professionals while on the other side we can really bring some innovative um, insights, innovative um, tools and, uh, and sort of vision to, uh, to solve the problems that we, that we have and we will have. Uh, I think it really, it really depends on, you know, from the, from the individual. And then I think they respond very well, but the, the fact that, I mean, they are very enthusiastic about the new technologies, but it sometimes it's very difficult in adopting it in everyday life. Mm -hmm. If you mean like, I don't know, for instance, social media mm -hmm. uh, or other like uh, sort of communication technologies, uh, it's very difficult to, um, for them to adopt in everyday life. This is what I, this is what I see. Mm -hmm. But uh, they are very open to, I have to, for my personal experience, I see that uh, uh, senior professionals are also open to, uh, to innovations, uh, but they sometimes await young professionals to, to come in. And so, yeah, that is the major... Uh, also, you mentioned uh, earlier that um, collaboration in the water sector is quite minimal in that sense. Can you explain a bit more about your idea on collaboration in the water sector? Well, I think there, there, is, I think there is collaboration, uh, but sometimes we, uh, we talk a lot about it instead of actually focusing uh, on realizing it. So this is, uh, this is a real, I think sometimes um, we spend too much time and uh, perhaps you know um, too much flights going to conferences and talk a lot which is essential absolutely but then what is a sustainable solution well the sustainable solution i think we have to start really to to act what uh, what we preach we have to start uh, you know start involving also you know what what i call neglect stakeholders in the ground start to also uh -huh. test the things well, the neglected stakeholders are basically the people who are missing in the room where we, where we take decisions, where we dis when we discuss. I mean, um, when I say neglected stakeholders, I, I think about young generations, but particularly people who are in the field, who are working in the field, and then somehow, particularly in developing countries, and somehow they never get into, uh, into a, a room and discuss about the, the problems that the issue that they have. Uh, so there are many young professionals, mm, let's say, or young people participating to water conferences, but somehow, I mean, and I'm uh, one of, of these, but, uh, you know, we are very lucky and uh, that, you know, we, we have heard, sort of, um, we can get into the, that room, but there are, you know, the majority of other, like, young professionals that are working in the field and somehow 
they, they never get there. So we have to think about more, you know, strategically or now we reach these people. Think that, you know, if you're not part of an organization or, you know, a sort of a global group, it's very difficult to be involved in, you know, such, yeah. you know, sort of process. Technology, uh, ICT uh, is, uh, is a game changer. And, you know, it can really bring the voice of, um, as a, what they call neglected stakeholders into, you know, like uh, decision making room if you want. The problem is that decision makers should be open and ready to listen to that. Because most, I mean, most of the time when we are in a room, we are discussing, we tend to, you know, well, when we hear each other, we tend to hear only, you know, the people who are in the room. So even if you have like, uh, you know, technology that brings other voices in the room, the real challenge is make other people listen to that voice that come in.